Now to that candlelight vigil for Tina Tinter, killed in a crash involving former Raider Henry Ruggs earlier this week. And tonight we're learning that Tina worked at a local Target. Yeah, loved ones at Rainbow and Tropicana, where Fox Size Drew Andre spoke with her co-workers tonight. Well, and tonight the co-workers added to what is now just a massive memorial that includes candles, bouquets of flowers, and also a Serbian flag here as well. That's where Tina and her family are from. Now, she hadn't worked at Target for over a year, but her former, former co-workers tonight told us she's family. A sea of red shirts huddled around the makeshift memorial off Rainbow, just across the street from where Tina Tintor was killed in the crash Tuesday morning. More than 20 former co-workers lit candles, embraced each other, and mourned their friend. We're all gonna miss her every single day. You know, there's a hole in our family now. Tina worked at this Target off Grand Canyon and 215 until she left last year, pursuing a future career in computer programming. But during her time at Target, she left a lasting impression on her work family. Every time I look back and think about her, I just, see her smile and I see the times we should laugh in the check stands together, the unbearable eight hour shifts we would laugh and it would feel like nothing because she was there and she'd always want to hang out after work. After and work and we would sit in the parking lot the and talk and just we would hang out for like a half hour, an hour. At the center of the colorful shrine, a picture of Tina and Maxie, her dog killed in the crash. Around it, bones, tennis balls and stuffed animals not only for Maxie, but representing Tina's love for animals. Tina's friends say they are feeling shock, sadness, and can't help but feel anger too. She was full of life, spirit, and there's no other words for us. This was totally senseless when all he had to do was call for an Uber. I mean, she was only 23 years old, didn't even live half her life, and now it's gone, taken away senselessly. You know, so, I'm sorry, but to, for somebody who just didn't care. We loved her at Target. You know, we missed her when she quit, and but we'll miss her now forever. And the employees signed that shirt that you see right there. They also said they've been offered grief counseling. And also in a GoFundMe, Tina's family put up tonight. In it, it reads, Tina was the shoulder to cry on, the ear that made you felt heard and the friendly smile you needed when you made a bad joke. Reporting live tonight, Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas. Beautiful and touching tribute there, Drew. Next Saturday, there's going to be a pack walk to honor Tinter and Max. A group will meet at the Lazy Dog Cafe at Town Square and work to promote safe choices while under the influence. It's scheduled for 10 a.m. And again, that walk is next week.